Hi, I'm Mary Beth Lechak, Director of Strategic Communications at the Canada-France Hawaii Telescope. Today, we're talking about careers. There's a wide variety of careers that you can have at CFHT and all of the other Mauna Kea observatories. We're run like any small business. We have an accounting and finance, we've got software, we've got instrumentation, we have an operations group and an astronomy group. Each one of those groups do a different but really critical role in maintaining the telescope in the observatory. So I'm talking to you today from our Waimea headquarters. Here you can see a picture of CFHT, our telescope and facility at the summit. The jobs that we're gonna be talking about today, some of them are based here in Waimea, some are based at the summit, but many jobs require travel back and forth between the two. So let's take a look at all of the jobs you can have here at CFHT. This is our front office where we see our administrative assistants and our accounting group work. We have a wide variety of positions for both of those. So Lori, who sits back here, she and Carolyn, part of their job is welcoming people when they come in to the front, um, also taking care of our travel, our purchasing, um, our credit cards and bill payments. We also then have an accounting office and their job is to make sure that everybody gets paid that we have enough money in the bank to cover our bills. Those jobs have a wide variety of educational backgrounds. You can have an associate's degree, you could have a bachelor's degree in accounting, or maybe even some sort of special certification that allows you to do some of the complex accounting that you would see here at CFHD. So that's our administration and accounting group. When you think of an observatory, you probably think of astronomers first, and that's great. That's what we do. We look at the sky. Astronomers make up about 25% of CFHT staff, in our case, around 10 people. Our astronomy group has astronomers and remote observers. Astronomers have PhDs in astronomy or physics, and their job is to one, help other astronomers use our telescope, and two, do their own independent research. Astronomers at CFHT have a wide variety of research interests from exoplanets, which are planets orbiting other stars, to seeing how stars form in galaxies, to looking at stars themselves, individual stars. Our other career occupation you can have at CFHT in the astronomy group is a remote observer. So those astronomers, they help other astronomers use our telescope. But those astronomers in Canada, France, and the University of Hawaii, they never actually come to CFHT. They request their data and put all of the information on a complex form online. And then it's the job of our remote observers in this room to conduct all of our observations. So they work here remotely in Waimea 365 days a year from sunset all the way to sunrise. Now, remote observers all have to have at least a bachelor's degree in either astronomy, physics, or math. Um, a master's degree is okay as well, and you have to be really willing to work all night long. So astronomers, PhD, do research. Remote observers, bachelor's degree, operate the telescope and the cameras and take data for astronomers around the world. Computers are at the heart of everything done at an observatory. We're right here in the CFHT computer room. There are all of our servers. And so there's again, a wide variety of jobs that you can have in our software group. You could be a system administrator who works on networking, who works directly with creating servers and making sure that they work and function properly while also helping staff with their problems with their Macs or their PCs. We have software engineers. These are people who create and build all of the computer programs that we use here at CFHT. Everything is custom built and designed for our telescope and for our observatory and our observing needs. So that takes a lot of experience doing deep programming and creating programs that are built and designed specifically for your users. We don't have much off the shelf here. So the degrees, again, range from an associate's degree in something like system administration, network security, 
all the way up to a bachelor's degree or even a PhD in computer science, software engineering, or computer engineering. Welcome to the Electronics Lab. At CFHT, our software is created custom, as is our instrumentation. So we're gonna talk about the instrumentation group. So our instrumentation group is responsible for the cameras that we have at CFHT. We have five cameras, Megacam, Weircam, Espadon, Citel, and Spiru. Each one of them is different, and each one of them has unique needs. They're unique in the world. If we're running into a problem with Megacam, we can't call another observatory to loan us apart or ask them how they dealt with their Megacam, because it's unique in the world. So our engineers have to be ready to create, design, and build components if needed to fix the telescope and the instrumentation. We also have electronic specialists. These are people who work and make the telescope, the building and the cameras all work and talk together. So at CFHT, to be a member of our instrumentation group, you need either an associate's degree in electrical technology, electrical engineering, one of those electrical fields, a master's degree or a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering, electrical engineering, optics, we even have an engineer who has a PhD in physics. The research that he did was on building and fixing things. So that's what our engineers here do. They design, they create, they build, and they fix the instruments that we have to keep us on sky every single night. Our operations group is responsible for maintaining the telescope our observatory facility, our Waimea facility, and our vehicle fleet. So there's a wide variety of jobs within that group, this group as well. We're standing here in the Waimea machine shop. There's an identical machine shop at the summit that has tools like a lathe, a CNC machine, and a drill press. Because when we're at the summit, if something needs to be fixed, it has to be done very quickly, and it's too far to be able to drive back down, pick up a part, and drive up. So they create a lot of the parts that are needed for the specialized components at CFHT. They're also responsible for making sure that the dome turns, the shutter opens, and that we're on sky every single night. Again, a wide variety of degrees in our ops group. We've got staff that don't have a college degree. We've got some associates degrees in things like engineering technology, machining, we have an electrician. We have our very own auto mechanic who is responsible for keeping our fleet in good shape. We also have staff in our operations group that have degrees in mechanical engineering to help with the building and the designing of new components for the telescope and keeping us on the sky. My job is Director of Strategic Communication, which means I explain astronomy to people. I use a wide variety of tactics to do this, and I talk to a wide variety of people. I have my stuffed planets, there for when I go and talk to younger kids or elementary school students, or if I want to make a point about how things move. The Earth orbits the Sun, the Moon orbits the Earth. We can do that with the stuffed planets. I'm also responsible for CFHT's social media and media. So sometimes I go on TV to talk about discoveries. I work with astronomers to write and put out all of the press releases that you see from CFHT about scientific discoveries. I also make videos like this one where I talk about careers or I might talk about science demonstrations, um, cool science discoveries, neat things that you can do at home. I organize events like our annual Astro Day, Solar System Walk, participation in things that other observatories do. Astro Day is a great example of that. Someone else organizes it and CFHT goes and supports, but we have to come up with our own distinct um, activity. I also work with people in the community, sometimes on things that are related to astronomy, sometimes things that aren't, like food distributions or the Cakey Heroes project that I'm a part of. I have a really wide and variety of jobs that I do. Um, I have a degree in astronomy and astrophysics, a bachelor's degree and a master's degree in educational technology.
So we've been all around the building learning about each of the groups and the jobs that they have at CFHT. We've talked about admin, astronomy, software, instrumentation, operations, and my job, communications. We've also seen a video of how the summit works and how the telescope moves. So I hope you learned about jobs you can have at an observatory. Remember, there's a huge variety and a huge variety of educations needed. We have positions for people who have graduated from high school, who have associate's degrees, bachelor's degrees, all the way up to PhD. If you're interested in a science, technology, engineering, math field, you should really consider working at an observatory.